Yo, what is going on Amiibo Army? Welcome back to the channel. So the Min Min Amiibo is, well, releasing fairly soon. Some people might end up buying it. Some people might put some spirits on their Min Min Amiibo, turn them into a raid boss, perhaps. Maybe just a competitive Amiibo. And you're wondering to yourself, self, what kind of spirits should I put on Min Min? And well, that's what this video is here to help do. So here's a few spirits that Min Min will greatly benefit from. And the first one, probably one of the best ones for one single spirit slot is going to be the physical attack. Min Min's all about physical except for the dragon laser, but still there's a lot that can benefit from it. So there's many of these spirits. You got Rock Mario, you got Madame Couture, you got Shadow or Sonic the Werehog, you got the Wii Fit Trainer Lady, you got the Labrador, the Retriever, you got Ring Fit Adventure. There's, and then you got a few of them. You could even go uh, play on the uh, spirit board for the DLC characters. Uh, I believe this one is from, uh, who is it? Um... Hyra and Mithra, so you can go get Laura from that one. So there's a few of these physical attack spirits out there that you can go get pretty easily. So uh, this one is one to definitely consider. And uh, heck, you might even want to double up and throw two physical attack spirits on your Min Min. Spirit number two to consider, although I wouldn't say put this towards the very top of the list, but it should definitely get some consideration. Hyper Smash Attack. What is Min Min going to do? Well, her strength is her, well, her reach, the distance for her smash attacks and her, what was that side special? But this doesn't apply to side special. This is going to apply to your forward smash. So hyper smash attack, what does it do? It, the only spirit that uh, has this effect is Victini, but uh, it, um, yeah, it uh, increases attack power and smash attack charge speed. So there you go. This one is definitely worth considering. Uh, I mean, if you just want to make an extremely spammy forward smashing uh, Min Min Amiibo, then this one would be a pretty good one to have on your, well, Amiibo. Another one to consider is Air Defense Up. It only takes one support spirit slot. It's not one that a lot of people might think of, but hey, a little extra defense can really help go a long way. So there are a couple of these spirits as well. I believe we got uh, Baby Peach here. Then you got uh, you got Koo for air defense. You got uh, one of the Game & Watch Parachute. Now, is this uh, is this another one? Yep, Medusa Head. You got uh, Twin Tail, so you can go to Min Min's Spirit Board and farm this off of her. Uh, what about Corviknight? Corviknight's an air defense. What about this one? Olivia, another air defense. So as you can tell, there's... Okay, that one's not. But uh, there's a few different ones. And of course, like I said, Twintel. I believe she's on Min Min Spirit Board. So just go play her Spirit Board. Grab this Spirit if you're considering air defense. Now, of course, there's always the option for Super Armor. Of course, it's only the Gold Mario Spirit, which... Uh, well, it makes it gives the character super armor. Basically, it makes them very difficult to launch or be flinched. Yeah, it's not the you know the most fun to just throw on an amiibo, but uh, if you if it's always it's always an option for literally any amiibo, so it's something to consider. But here's a here's a an interesting one: unflinching charged smash attacks. Now, this one cost two support spirit slots, and if you wanted to pair this up with uh, the uh, the Victini spirit. Well, there you go. There's your spirit build. This one would just be kind of more for a, a casual, like I said, with the spammy build, just focus on forward smash and then just spam it and all to uh, oblivion. And of course, unflinching, uh, as you can see by the uh, the text on it, uh, it gains super armor while charging smash attacks. So you can sit there and hold it. And as long as nobody grabs you, then you're fine. Unless you're at really high health, then super armor is pretty useless, but it's a fun spirit to at least consider. And then, of course, we also got what, like, auto heal and great auto heal. That's, um, uh, where is it? Great auto heal. There we go. There are a couple others to consider, but those ones aren't as friendly and they aren't as fun. Next one up, which pretty much almost every character benefits from, move speed. Slightly increases the left to right move speed for the amiibo. Min Min will make great use of this because it also applies to when the amiibo is trying to recover off stage. So the jumping, the moving from left to right to get back on stage, this does help out, believe it or not. So uh, just a little bit, but hey, a little bit of extra recovery in a sense is always good. And there's a few of these. As we can see, we got Thunderous, we got Jet the Hawk, got another one. 
got uh, Ibuki. There, there's a few of them. Um, I believe Ninjara is also on Min Min's spirit board, so you can go farm move speed spirits from that if you really want that one. What about this one? Uh, Liquid Metal Slime. I think you would have to do the Dragon Quest one, and then you have to enhance it, but um, this one, Ninjara would be the easiest one to get out of this group. Two more spirits that would that could uh, greatly benefit Min Min for her recovery, because sure, her up special is good, but uh, what about that horizontal recovery? Might not be the best. So you might want to think about the jump height, the increased jump height spirit only takes up one spot. There's a few of these. You got Starship Mario. You got this little snake. You got whatever this is, the gecko. Is it pr pronounced gecko? I think cream and cheese. Then you got uh, balloon fighter, Hane and Bow. Uh, you got uh, Slime from Minecraft, so that should be a part of Steve's spirit board, I'm going to guess. Uh, if I had to guess, I'll, I'll say. But uh, that should be an easy one to farm. So there's quite a few that do have the uh, increased jump height ability. But the other one that I think might be even better than increased jump height would be the floaty jumps. Now this one makes it so, as you can see, slows your fall speed after jumping. This makes it much easier to kind of control where you're going when you're trying to recover. So if you get knocked high into the air and you're worried about falling fast and kind of missing the ledge and missing your recovery, well, this gives you much more time or gives the amiibo much more time to kind of think about it. And uh, hey, she's got a down air that can uh, kind of be sort of a safe landing option to a degree. So not a bad one, but floaty jumps. There are a few different ones of these that uh, give that effect. So yeah, floaty jump or extra increased jump height is definitely something to consider. Now here's one that's another spirit that's just great on pretty much everybody. Trade-off ability, because not only does it increase slightly the attack, defense, and speed of the amiibo, but uh, the drawback is that uh, they start with 30%, so these are better used on characters that are more heavy, so uh, if you want to throw it on Min Min and you want to try it out, go for it. But uh, again, start with 30% and then you just got to figure out what uh, if the 30% is worth the slight increase to attack, defense, and speed. But there's a few of these. There's Majora's Mask. We got uh, Garon and then uh, I believe um, Kazuhiro Miller. I think those are... No, I think this one as well. Turks and... Yes, this one is from the Sephiroth Spirit Board. So if you have Sephiroth, go play the Spirit Board, find this Spirit, beat it, boom, you have yourself a trade-off ability to throw on your new amiibo. And two final ones just to consider. I mean, Armor Knight, because it's Armor Knight, it's one of the big five, so I guess consider it, but, you know, you don't have to use it, but it, it's still there for consideration. And then I think the other, the last two is either going to be Giant. I personally do not like these spirits because they only last for a very short amount of time, and then it's basically gone. So if you throw this the Giant Spirit on, Min Min will be giant at the start of the battle for about 10 to 12 seconds. And then she just goes back to normal size. And then you basically wasted two support slots on nothing for the rest of the fight. So unless you get a KO super early in the fight, um, giant could be pretty, uh, pretty pointless. Even if you combine it with transformation duration, still very gimmicky. But hey, sometimes gimmicks are uh, the fun thing to try out with Amiibo. So if you want giant... Transformation duration, sure, go for it. And of course, the opposite one would be the uh, the critical super giant, where once you reach roughly 90 to 100 percent, the uh, amiibo will turn into a giant version of themselves, and that lasts for I think 15, 20 seconds roughly, and it's only a one-time activation. So uh, think carefully if you're going to use this, because again, it's one time and. Uh, if they don't make use of it that one time, well, then uh, the spirit, well, kind of got wasted. But those are just a few spirits to consider for Min Min once she releases. And uh, hopefully this was helpful to somebody. And I guess that's it for this one. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace.